Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. I'm fresh out of the gym, working out in the Hulkamania Hulk shirt. I'm all fired up for impact today, but I thought I would uh, go out of my way to make a uh, Hell in the Cell 2013 predictions video before we ran out of time coming up here today. Um, basically, I've been a very bad, bad boy. I haven't very uh, watched very much WWE, if I can remember right. I didn't watch Impact. No, I didn't watch Raw last week, and then I didn't even know Monday was Monday. I didn't even know that Raw had already happened until I was on my lunch Tuesday uh, listening to the Observer podcast, and they started doing a Raw report. So uh, I'm very bad, uh, very uh, very behind. I'm sure Triple H will be giving me a call pretty soon, letting me know that uh, <coughs> I got some heat over there with the office. The uh, the pre-show match is going to be none other than Biggie Langston, fresh off his uh, babyface turn going up against Curtis Axel for the Intercontinental Championship. I honestly would be uh, really, really surprised. Um, I wish, in my dream sequence, uh, what they would do is they would have, um, you know, CM Punk get involved in this match somehow, not to help Biggie Langston, but to show Paul Heyman that this is the night that he's going to get his hands on him. Uh, and somehow that sort of distraction is what's going to lead Biggie Langston to... Um, you know, getting the IC strap. Honestly, I think Biggie Langston has a, a real big future in the WWE, and I really see him becoming a champion some uh, someday, uh, bigger than the IC title. But um, I don't think it's going to be today. So honestly, if, if you're putting money on this, which I guess is the the big thing to do these days, is actually betting on wrestling. Uh, put your money on Curtis Axel to retain, uh, but Biggie Langston will get his due someday. Uh, they just added a uh, a match. It's going to be the uh, the Matadors going up against the uh, uh, the uh, Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro. Um, I don't know. It, this match doesn't matter in the long run. Take the Matadors to win in that one. Uh, we got some sort of chick match with um, the Bellas going up against uh, AJ Lee with uh, some sort of strong hints that the Bellas are going to split and, and turn. Just what I want to see. Nikki versus Brie on my TV. I like the Bellas, you know, the TV show, Total Divas. I think that's fun to watch them on there, but do I really want to see them wrestle against each other? And if they're going to wrestle against each other, don't you think that more than likely this is going to be on pay-per-view? Please don't do this. Uh, I'll take AJ to retain her title. Um, I guess the, the, all we have really left are the, uh, uh, on, yeah, I guess the three, four... I guess they got four matches that actually sort of matter on this show. Uh, kick it off with the Shield going up against Goldust and Cody. At this time, I don't think it's the right time to take the uh, the titles off of these guys. They really haven't been established as these uh, big name stars yet. I think you got to push uh, Cody as big as you can, so that way when it's time to break up Cody and Goldust, Cody's uh, an established big star that can leave a Goldust uh, feud and, and go off into something else. So I'm going to take. Uh, Cody and Gold, uh, sorry, Cody and Goldust uh, for the win in that match. Um, from there, we'll go over to CM Punk, uh, who's going to be wrestling in a handicap match in the Hell in the Cell, going up against Ryback and Paul Heyman. This has to be the time that we finally kill off the Paul Heyman angle. I know CM Punk has been chasing around, trying to get his hands on Heyman uh, for what happened at. Um, I don't even know what started off this feud. Wasn't it just Curtis Axel and then fucking with each other? And the whole, I don't want to be with you anymore after WrestleMania and Paul took offense. Maybe that's when Brock came out and kicked his ass. I don't know, but fucking end this already. I, I'm done. I want to see CM Punk be a big star again. I don't want to see him fighting right back. I don't want to see him fighting uh, Curtis Axel. I don't want to see him fighting... Anybody other than the big stars of the WWE in a meaningful angle that means something. You know, when back in the 80s, which I think this is the copycat of, just basically the baby faces wanted to kill Jim Cornette or Bobby Heenan. There always was a time they were able to get him trapped. There's no other time to trap him and kill him than inside the hell in the cell. Um, for some weird reason, I'm going to take Ryback to win, but somehow Punk's going to get his hands on Heyman, and this is going to be the end of times. Um, so maybe Ryback can actually get a, get a win here. Um, I already made a good video on uh, John Cena uh, coming back and wrestling Alberto Del Rio, um, sort of turning that into sort of a unification match because the, uh, the World Heavyweight Championship doesn't mean anything. I did hear one good tip that um, 
Damien Sandow hasn't wrestled on any of the big TV shows in weeks, trying to make you sort of forget about him. Maybe this is the time. Maybe he does come cash in against John Cena. I really highly doubt that because then you sort of have to entrap Cena in this feud to get this win back against Sandow and have him going for the World Heavyweight Championship, which is the joke of a title. Just have Cena beat him, go up, and have Cena versus Bryan. You'll have a huge, huge match at Survivor Series. Be really, really big to unify those belts. Long time coming. That belt doesn't mean anything since Edge left. Um, so it's, it takes Cena to beat Del Rio. I didn't say anything about Del Rio. Um, and then we'll go to... Um, I feel like I'm skipping something. Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. This is the never-ending feud. I'm you know, shotgunning this feud to end. It's always been said that it's not going to end until Survivor Series, which means there'll be one more match after this one. But I really, really want this match. John Cena versus Daniel Bryan. The rematch from SummerSlam, very rarely do you ever see anybody get one win over Cena and doesn't have to pay it back very, very fast. Uh, but Daniel Bryan did beat him, even though he did do the job very, very fast doing the cash-in to Randy Orton. Um, so, all in all, Daniel Bryan has to win this match, whether they do it one more time, Bryan versus Orton. Hopefully they can look and see that, you know, Orton is a big star. A lot of people like him. I don't like him. But I think the consensus of the people that, that's watching the show don't want to see this match again. We've seen it enough. Daniel Bryan's got screwed over and over and over. Let him get that big decisive win that he's already gotten that you stripped him the title from and just push on from there. Daniel Bryan is your champion, leaving Hell in the Cell. That's my guess. And then we'll go on to the freaking Survivor Series built around uh, Big Show versus Triple H in the main event. Peace out, everybody.